Hello and welcome to this unboxing video of one of Apple's most popular desktops, the Mac Mini. This is the latest Mac Mini M2. We'll look at the features, the pricing, the basic setup, and then we'll also answer the big question. Should you consider buying or upgrading to this new Mac Mini M2? Let's get to it. So let's start off with the first things first. Let's do the unboxing. So let us start off by looking at the packaging first. Like most of Apple's products, the packaging is premium with the Mac Mini pictured there on the top and the Mac Mini text on the side in silver to match the color of the Mac Mini itself. At the bottom of the box, that is where you find all of the Mac Mini's details. So this is the base model 256 gig solid state drive with an 8 gig unified memory and 8 core CPU with a 10 core GPU. And now we can open the box by simply peeling off the tapes on both ends. And then we can lift the top cover right there. And there you go, we have the same old beautiful and portable mini desktop design right there. They haven't changed it for the past decade. In fact, it's more than a decade ago. And now let us take out the Mac mini and put it on the side to see what else is included inside the box. As usual, we have the information booklet in there that has a user manual on the inside that shows you how to start and connect the Mac mini. And then we have the Apple logo sticker. And of course, we have the power cable inside there. So those are all the things that you find inside the box. The Mac mini, the information booklet, and the power cable. That is all that you find. And since that is all that you find inside the box, it means that if you're planning to buy one of these, you will have to also buy a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. The Mac mini M2 comes in this one silver color right there. As you can see, I would have loved though to have it in that darker space gray color that we had on the 2018 Mac Mini. But this is not a deal breaker in any way. The silver still looks good. And now let us look at the Mac itself. And as you can see at the back, they have a tape that is covering the ports. So starting from the left, we have the power port and we have the ethernet port, two Thunderbolt ports, an HDMI port, two USB-A ports, and a headphone jack. And at the bottom, as you can see, there is another tape that is covering the lid. This lid has been closed in a way that you cannot easily open it because these new Mac minis, they are not meant to be customized and to be upgraded at home as opposed to the older Macs, which you could easily open and easily upgrade it yourself. So these ones, once you buy it, you have to customize it and upgrade it at the store when you buy by opting for the different options that are there, such as opting for a 16 gig RAM or a 512 SSD. And that is all that you're gonna get. So now let us move on to the setup. So like I've already mentioned, if you buy this Mac mini, you will need a keyboard and you will also need a Bluetooth mouse. So I was lucky that I already had Apple Magic Mouse and Apple's Magic Keyboard and a monitor because I've always been a fan of the Mac mini. So I've always been using a Mac mini. However, you can use any other Bluetooth keyboard or mouse, any brand that you prefer. You can go for Logitech, Microsoft, or any other that you prefer. You don't necessarily have to use Apple's Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard. And if you're interested in buying these Apple Magic accessories, the mouse will cost you $1,499 and the keyboard will cost you $2999. That is the longer keyboard with numeric keys. But you can also opt for the shorter keyboard, which is also the Magic Keyboard, that will cost you $2,299. With that said, let us talk about the pricing. So the price for the Mac Mini starts from $12.699 for the base model, which only has one processor to choose from, and that is the 8-core CPU, 
and then only one RAM to choose from and that is the 8 gig. I wanted to get the 16 gig but I couldn't because in SA we don't have the 16 gig option. And the only thing that you can configure there is your storage. So you can choose the 256 or you can go for the 512 SSD. The 256 will cost you 12.699 if you opt for the 512 ssd then that will cost you 16,899. and if you want the mac mini pro that will cost you 27,499 for a 10 core cpu with a 16 gig of ram and a 512 gig solid state drive and there is not much there to connect it's just your power cable and then your hdmi cable that will also go into the monitor and then your power goes to the power unit speaking of the price i bought my mac mini at incredible connection and that is because you get an extra two-year warranty when you buy from incredible connection with most of the apple products i know that we all want to buy from iStore because iStore is the premium reseller and you also get that technical support because they specialize in selling Apple products. But in this case, I thought the two year extra warranty is worth it. So I opted to get mine from Incredible Connection. So if you can add everything up, the Mac mini, the Apple accessories and a basic monitor, probably a Dell monitor like the one that I'm using here, but this is a gaming monitor but if you can factor in a basic monitor then you are looking at roughly somewhere around 22,000 rands for a complete mac mini desktop setup it's a bit costly but trust me it is worth it this machine has got a lot of power but we'll talk about that on a separate video where i will do the actual review today we are just looking at the unboxing so when you first power it on, it's going to ask you to connect a mouse and it's going to ask you to connect a keyboard. To connect the mouse, there is a button at the bottom of the Magic Mouse that you just switch on. And then for the keyboard at the top, there is also a button that you just switch on and then it will be available and it's going to connect and you are good to go. And then you also need to connect it to a Wi-Fi. And then once that is done, there is a chance that you will have an update that you will first have to do before you can start using your mac so you can choose to update later or you can choose to do it immediately for me i'm choosing to do it immediately so the update does take a bit of time but that is also based on your wi-fi speed once the updates are done you will have to select the language again and you also have to select the wi-fi again and then you will also have to select your options for data and privacy to choose what you want to share and what you don't want to share and then also you will get migration assistant options there so in terms you want to migrate from an older mac to a newer mac but for me i opted to use this mac as a new mac and then obviously you will have to sign in with your apple id and then agree to the terms and conditions and then you will create an account that you will use to log in and once all of that is done, then you can choose your theme option there. If you want light or dark, or you want it to be automatic, meaning it will turn to dark mode and it will go to light mode depending on the time of the day. And there you go. We are all set up and we can start using the Mac. What I can say is that it is looking good. The graphics there are absolutely stunning and crisp and the speed as well it is actually smooth so when you move around everything just responds fast and i will also start updating my apps and downloading some of my default apps that i need there and as you can see by default it comes with apple tv podcast and then now the new collaboration app freeform that comes pre-installed here then you can install all of your other apps that you need and that is it it seems like we are good to go And on to the big question, should you consider buying this base Mac Mini M2? Well, if you don't have a Mac computer at all and you want to try out Mac, this is a good starting point. If you already have a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro and you want an extra desktop that you can use at home, this is a good buy. If you want a machine that you can use for photo and video editing and for basic stuff, 
this is a good machine overall this is a good machine if you don't want to do any heavy 4k editing and stuff like that if you already have the mac mini m1 and you're wondering if you should upgrade to the m2 don't waste your money the m1 will do everything that the m2 can do and the speed difference is not that much however if you are really looking for an upgrade and you already have the m1 you can look at the mac mini m2 pro yes the m2 is a leap forward but it is not that advanced if you compare it with the m1 the m1 will still do 95 percent of the things that the m2 can do and that brings us to the end of this unboxing video of the mac mini m2 be sure to like and subscribe for more unboxing videos catch you on the next one